Oh, good. Right now, I have Belgian Chinese. Susan. 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 Both of you will Yeah, they're right. They're there for five months. No, no, so no, 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 no. So you guys them come your photo, they'll be very yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. Why the difference? Yeah. Oh, just a different part of the uniform. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just visited, just travelling in a car. I did not spend time. So. But the best way is on a bicycle for travelling in the countries. Yeah, yeah, travelling. Yeah. Well, when you get older, get older, save some money, then you can do that. Yeah, it's a bit harder at your age, unless your mother or father like doing those things. Thinking of all their life. They start to figure out that they don't know what, what is the purpose of their life. And some of the things start with you, they start with you sometimes. That's a really important question, eh? because you don't want to get sad in yourself and you don't want to feel unhappy, but you also want to, you know your family wants you to climb high, and it's a really hard question. Um, Ni hao, and uh, good morning to you all. Good morning. Um, my name is Gary, Gary Sweeney, and I'm the principal at Pukekoi Intermediate School. She works with the programs and helping with the homestays for those students. So, Pukekoi Intermediate School is a very good friend with this school. This is English. Hello, my name is Alex. Uh, I want to know in New Zealand. <coughs> Deaf student leaders doing many different jobs. The, the main student leadership group is the group of students that are my group as principal. So the principal and and 15 student leaders, we meet every three weeks. The students come to my office and we sit down and we talk about the school. And we talk about student uh, things that students would like. I want to ask, is there any big contest in your school? Um, yeah, we have sport contests where the students can be in many different teams. And as a school, we would go to another part of New Zealand for a one-week sporting competition. This is also better. And I want to ask, how do you encourage your students to do sports? Um, children are very sporty from a young age. So students come to my junior high school or Pukekohe Intermediate School and many are already very interested in sport. So a good question I think for you from me is um, do you learn, so you, you come to school with your local, your own country language, okay? And you guys learn English, yes? Do you have any other languages that you can learn at school? If you are in the uh, Japanese cl uh, school club, and you can learn Japanese or if any other languages club, uh, like uh, Korean. Yep. Yeah. Korean. We do. We do that. Sorry. Okay. Yes. Uh, whatever. Um, you can. You can. Learn, learn a lot of uh, languages in, in the school club, yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good answer. Um, students in my school talk to me about bullying, okay? Do you know that what that means? Does it, do we use the same term in, in Taiwan? Yeah, students bullying. And... If you have some competition, like class competition, and you make students work together, maybe... 
be friends and they will work on the others. In the, I'll tell you, in New Zealand, school starts, so your age, junior high school, we start school 8.30 in the morning, and we finish at 3 in the afternoon, and at 3, students go home. We don't have after-school clubs, we don't do anything like that, so at 3 o'clock, students just go home. And many of those students go home and use um, devices, they use laptops or iPads and playing games and or just helping the house or sleeping. Whatever they want to do, they can do. So that is school in New Zealand. It is relaxed, I think, more relaxing than some other countries in the world. So that is one difference between Taiwan and New Zealand. And my students, I think sometimes they would be better to have a longer school day and have longer longer activities. So my question to you guys is, what do you think? Would you suggest to me that we should have a longer school day, a longer school day and more activities? Or do you think that um, finish at three o'clock and go home? <laughs> I think uh, it's, uh, you can add some club after school, but don't add more time to learn a subject. So make... Uh, in, in, in Chinese, then yes, okay, English, no because I'm, I want to know the both sides. Okay. Uh, 就你们学生来讲, 一个国中生啊, 压力指数, 这是我小朋友跟我讲, 压力指数, 一到十, 十就是压力最高的, 受不了, 啊, 一就是完全没有, 只要是七八或五的，那前面的压力的来源是什么？我可以想到就考试了，哦，可能家里的这个，就是你们就讲一下。Of uh, being in a junior high student, so in your opinion or your understanding, what about the average or the the, the average the majority, the being in the junior high school, the pressure level is in what kind of range, and the order of the pressure comes from what or yeah question yeah okay so I know some of you too I recognize some faces who have been already over to visit us at Pukko Intermediate I now have two children at school my son Alexander is a year eight and my daughter Elizabeth is in year seven we I agree with Mr Sweeney that we really promote you to be self-driven that's what we call it. So they, both of my children want to succeed in their own way, doing completely different things, but they're self-driven. One parent very uh, think the score is great, is very important. So we have to test good grades and go to a great senior high school. So I think Taiwan students have to get good grades and study so many subjects very hard. And we also, all, almost everybody go to cram school. So um, we have to study so many subjects. So I always go to bed one o'clock. Oh, the culture of your country like festival, what festival do you have? New Zealand, the first people living there were called Maori people, okay, and they may have been, no one knows exactly how long Maori people have been living there, but let's say a little over 1,000 years.